In the dark of night late last September, in a heavily trafficked section of the international waters of the Baltic Sea, the surface began to bubble. Seismographs in Sweden reported a powerful disruption under the seafloor. Was it Carl Bildt? No. Seven hours later, reports came of another disturbance. Photographs emerged of gigantic blooms of methane gas erupting from below. They were visual proof of severe pressure drops to the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 natural gas pipelines. They run between Russia and Germany. These explosions were no accident. Tonight, sabotage at sea. That's what President Biden is calling the leaks and explosions on the Nord Stream pipeline. More than a month later, the gas leaks have been plugged. But the flow of speculation, conspiracy theories, and blind accusation is unabated. And that's because, apart from confirming that sabotage did indeed occur, the European investigators have yet to point the finger at any specific saboteur. Some experts think it was Russia blowing up their own pipelines to worsen the winter prospects of an already energy-starved Europe. But backing up that suspicion has proved a surprisingly sensitive task for European officials who have long been wary about sharing intelligence amongst member nations. EU member states, quote, have their own agendas, is how one Danish researcher recently put it. Denmark, Germany, and Sweden have all launched separate investigations, and each inquiry is shrouded in secrecy. In fact, a Swedish prosecutor has already signaled that his country won't join a larger EU investigation. For a continent that has shown such solidarity in uniting against Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the tight-lipped response to the Nord Stream attack is jarring, to say the least. The timing isn't great either. Russian President Vladimir Putin has become more erratic as his battle losses in Ukraine mount, posing a greater security risk to Europe as a whole. Add to that mounting food and energy prices, not to mention a weak euro, and it's looking like a really tough year on the continent. And don't sleep on Xi Jinping and a rising China keen to rebalance the global power structure in his favor. 